She won't leave me because she knows she has it super cush with me. She told the affair partner if she leaves me, she has nothing. She still has no idea I am aware of her despicable ways. I was going to try to do things nicely, but now after reading it all, I want to go scorched earth. What's going on everybody? Hope everybody's feeling good. Hope everybody's doing well. We are back with another story. Guys, I will put the link to this in the description like usual. You guys read the title? Let's get into it. So, he titles it, I'm not looking forward to the confrontation. Hmm. My wife, 29 of seven years, had cheated on me with one of her longtime friends in mid-July. I discovered text messages back and forth between them after getting suspicious and finally checking her phone. The texts I read were from a day after D-Day about how good their sex was, I love you, and even discussing a mild fight we had where she recounted things I said and they both laughed about it. Oh, that's the worst. That's the worst. It's, it's bad to find out, you know they've been cheating what they've been doing but to find out that they're talking about you she's talking to someone about you who you have no idea who that person is you don't know them at all yeah, that's the worst feeling that is the worst feeling ever I tried to explain that we may be entering a new stage of marriage where we are comfortable and complacent it might feel a little boring, but maybe that's just how things get once you're married for more than a few years. But she is convinced that is wrong and we've drifted apart. Despite spending our days together, despite spending our days together full of good conversation, good sex, etc. Here's the thing, she doesn't know that I know. I've talked to a lawyer and have divorce papers in the works. Note, this is the second time she did this. The first time she cheated when we were dating. We had a six month split, worked things out, got back together, and later married. On the rare occasions we talk about her past infidelity, I told her if she ever does it again, we're done. We've been fine for six years with no problems. About a year ago, she began getting a little colder and would not accept my affection. I guess the distance culminated in her affair. Fast forward to today. I've known for three weeks and have been waiting for paperwork before confronting her. At first she was clearly not interested in me, but this week she seems to be feeling more guilty about her actions and a little more interested in me. She has been trying to do what she can to make up for her actions in her own way. All without us never talking about it. Like washing dishes, cleaning, cooking, all while refusing any help. It's like she's punishing herself. In my mind, she has completely betrayed me and I can no longer trust her. She has caused me so much pain and cannot possibly love me if she is able to do all of that. Financially, we have been okay, but struggled a bit because she doesn't want to work. She is finally working for a year, but it's a minimum wage part-time job and barely covers her bills. I feel like I have to pull all the weight and she is not really my equal. At the same time, I still care about her, value the life we built, and I'll worry about what will happen to her. I think she could easily fall into a deep depression. There is really only one way forward, and that is divorce, but I am worried about how she will take it, and it would be hard to resist taking her back. I almost wish she would happily leave with her new person. I know I have to divorce her, but not looking forward to the heartbreak, loneliness, and whatever else I can even predict. How do I do this? Wow. Let me give my thoughts. So, hold on, like, she's cheated before. You guys split for six months, got back together, and got married. So, it sounds like, you know, you thought marriage would make things better. She proved that it did not. She cheated again. She doesn't know that you know. And it's like you're hanging on to this. And I get it. You wanna, you're want you going to divorce her. And you're going to surprise her with a divorce. And guys, there are updates. We're going to go through the updates and see what he ultimately did. But, um, man, I don't know how he, he 
held himself from just reacting immediately. But maybe he has a trick up his sleeve. Maybe he has some ultimate karma to uh, dish out. But um, she clearly, it clearly was a huge mistake taking her back when you guys were just dating or boyfriend and girlfriend when she cheated. You took a six month break, but gave her the marriage and she did it again. That's that's very unfortunate. You say in your mind she has completely betrayed you and you no longer trust her, but you end it with and you end this one with how do I, you know, I want to divorce her, but I'm scared of heartbreak and being lonely. Like she's already broken your heart. Like you you you're together and you're already lonely. She, she's with somebody else. She's already done these things. It's time to let her go. But uh we'll see what happens, but um Let's check out the comments on this one, then we'll move on to updates. Someone says, stay strong, my friend. She will initially fight like hell to keep you as she isn't ready yet to dump you. Her and her boyfriend have another scenario in mind a few months down the road. Don't fall for it. Stick to your values. Loyalty, loyalty is bare minimum requirement in a relationship. Please let us know how it goes when you serve her. Yeah, and he's going to update us. Um, like she's working minimum wage. Yeah, she's probably she's going to fight tooth and nail to, um, to keep you around. She needs you. Someone says she's never going to be ready to leave the person who pays her bills. Selfish people suck. Someone else said, thanks for this. We'll update when it happens. Huh? See, he's letting us know he's going to update. She'll be the AP's problem if she falls apart. Hopefully when you heal, you will find someone that reciprocates what you contribute to the relationship. Someone else said, as someone else said, as long as you were able to hold out till now without confronting her, you might as well wait till all the paperwork is finished. Honestly, I don't know how you found the strength to keep quiet like you have been. You are a stronger man than I am. Good luck to you, and she will be her friend's problem now. Yeah, I don't know how you held out either, like I don't know how you held out. I I couldn't, but um, yeah, that that does take some strength. I don't I don't know how you didn't boot her, or you didn't leave the house. You just kept quiet, like like you know nothing. I I couldn't do that. Someone said I know. If I know someone is betraying me and lying to my face, there's no way I could play along. I'd blow their effing world up, and I did when it happened to me. Yeah, absolutely. Someone else said, yeah, that takes a strong person to not say anything for so long. Same here. I can't not wear my feelings about things like that. I find it a virtue, honestly. Oh, he replied to that. He said, it's been difficult at first, especially. But yeah, people have always told me I'm uniquely strong-willed. Either that or I'm a sociopath for being able to do this. I don't know, man. I don't know how you do it. Someone else said, there's no telling how you will act in a situation like this until you're actually in it. You may have just gone into survival mode, which helped you to get to where you are now. The reason why cheaters like this suck is because of their ambivalence. I also felt a worry that my husband would hurt himself after I kicked him out. This woman is putting your emotional and physical health at risk willingly. You're acting to keep yourself safe and happy. Stay strong. Please message me if you need support. Someone else said, be ready for hysterical bonding. She isn't going to let her meal ticket get away easily. You deserve so much better. Find an equal in every way, especially in values. <laughs> and on that note, let's go ahead and check out the check out the update. All right, here's the first update. So, update. Three days until I go scorched earth. I realized it may not be three days. My lawyer will be giving me the paperwork in three days, but I have to read over it carefully and make sure it's right. So it may be longer. Sorry, but she will get burned eventually. I posted last week that I found out about my wife cheating and haven't confronted her yet. I want to get everything set up and ready before I do. In an effort to do so, I was able to download a complete text message log of her conversation with the affair partner. Man, she is way more effed up than I thought. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, like, just finding out the cheating is bad enough. When you find out that she's discussing, 
this when you find out this other guy who you don't know knows everything about you is the most uncomfortable feeling in the world. It's horrible. Like she her doing that is proving that she just wants to destroy him completely. She doesn't care. She the guy she's messing with could be some super simp. He can go out and try to literally kill this man. Oh, you hurt her like that? Oh, you're not doing this for her? You don't deserve to live. Some people are that crazy. So I originally thought she began cheating in July, but nope. Not only did her affair begin in May, but from March to May, she had another affair. This one involving unprotected sex with a heroin addict. Oh no. So the grand total of cheating is four dudes now. On to the current affair partner. First, she established his support by lying to him about our relationship. She told him, I insult her and I am mean, which is not true at all. This gave him justification. So he began manipulating her, telling her she deserves better, that I'm a piece of ish, I am a child, all kind of stuff. He actually fancied himself a relationship coach. He would listen to her complaints about me and tell her how I would respond or the reason I did that. The person, the person she is cheating with, telling her how to handle her relationship. What the heck? The thing she was mad about, I had no idea they bothered her. She never told me. Remember, he has never met me. He thinks he can predict all my behavior. This guy prides himself on his control over others. He bragged about it. He thinks he's, he thinks he's some relationship guru. It's ridiculous. He is a church minister. He bragged about how he helps a teen group get closer to God. Wow. In one instance, he bragged about how he helped a teenager break up with his girlfriend and then did a good job counseling the girlfriend because she was then suicidal. So she has fallen for this good guy act, total manipulation, hook, line, and sinker. He refers to her living with me as prison and calls me an a-hole. Well, I am the one who hugs her, who pays her bills, who happily greets her when she gets home from work. And I value her above all others. I do have to come clean. I value self-improvement very much and believe people should always be striving to improve. But she has not improved at all over the last 10 years. She is overweight, dropped out of college, working a minimum wage part-time job. Years ago, I tried to get her to improve. I was asking her to go to the gym with me, do a sport, anything, but she refused. She was unemployed for four years while I paid her student loan in alarmingly high credit debt. Why'd you do that? Oh no. I was asking her to find a good job every week. She never did. I was asking her to go to school. I'd pay. She can study anything she wants. She never went. After a few years of requesting her to work on herself, I slowly got frustrated to where I began criticizing her for her lack of effort. Sometimes I was so frustrated with it, I was mean about it. This was very wrong of me. I stopped all my criticizing a few years ago before her affairs began. She truly loved me even when I was still meanly criticizing, yet now that I'm not, she didn't love me. Huh, interesting right? My criticizing didn't come from a place of hate. I believe that a marriage is partnership that should be equal. That she should be my equal. I wanted to help her gain equality in our relationship, but she didn't want it. I think we are supposed to be able to lean on each other for support, yet she leaned on me only. Now that I'm in school and need some support, she has completely fallen apart, which manifests in affairs and resentment. All without addressing her issues with me. She has a problem with me. She brings it to the affair partner and he tells her what I will probably say. <laughs> wow. She told her mom about her affair and tried to say how bad I was on her, but she didn't believe my wife. My wife got angry that her mom wasn't on her side, complained about it, and the affair partner quickly took her side and rationalized her mom's stance. <laughs> hey, who is this guy? My wife is looking for someone to agree with her, to justify the awful things she's done to me. She feels shame and hides it by convincing herself how terrible of a person I am. She has a very little emotional intelligence and barely pays attention to me, can't read me at all, yet she is an open book to me. Her mental image of me is not at all who I really am. She is stuck on the person I used to be, 
but I've changed a lot over the last few years, but she never noticed. She won't leave me because she knows she has it super cush with me. She told the affair partner if she leaves me, she has nothing. Wow. I'm, bu I'm a busy student, so I don't have tons of time to give her attention like I used to. I think this is what triggered the cheating. If anything else challenges her as a priority for me, she goes wildly unstable. So here we are today. I've read all her ish. She still has no idea I am aware of her despicable ways. I have divorce papers coming Wednesday and counting the minutes until I can blow up her world. I was going to try to do things nicely, but now after reading it all, I want to go scorched earth. I want her to really understand the depth of her horrible behavior. I posted last week I was not looking forward to it, but now I am. I can't wait to read her text with the affair partner back to her and show her just how effed up it is. I can't wait to point out all the obvious manipulation the affair partner has done with her. I am looking for support for my situation and possible solutions to the dilemma. We have a dog that she is obsessed with like a child and will fight tooth and nail for, but neither of us has money to fight it over in court. So how can I so how can I keep my dog without incurring thirty thousand in court lawyer fees? Yeah, she is crazy enough to do that over the dog. I mean, she works a part-time job, but she might have a side guy pay for it. I am thinking I can somehow serve her papers, leave with my stuff, and the dog on the same day before she gets the papers. The problem there is that I live at school, which I need to be back for in September. There is a lot more to this, but the texting with the affair partner is literally 100 pages, so this is very condensed. Wow man and guys there is another update so let's check out that update all right so update in the home stretch this is my second update to my situation thank you to everyone for all the support and advice from the last two posts it has truly made me feel much better and given me solace that i am not alone I guess I got ahead of myself with that three day countdown. The papers took a lot longer than I was told, but now I have them and all the pieces are starting to fall in place. I am planning to have her served a week from today, but as we all know, things may not play out exactly as planned. My soon to be ex-wife still has no idea that I discovered her cheating over a month ago and have been planning for our separation. I have been living with her and acting like nothing is wrong for this whole time. Man, that just blows my mind. I don't know how you can do it. And she is completely oblivious. It has actually been difficult to not catch her. I've seen her texting him and would have caught her 15 times over at this point. She never even changed her password. And she still talks about him like he's just a friend of hers. It can be hard to keep my cool when she is talking about him, but I do what I have to do. Sometimes I feel like secretly plotting against her to pull the rug out from under her is wrong. Not wrong to do to her, but immoral for me to do something like this. Regardless of who is on the receiving end, some days it is difficult to hide that I am angry with her about what she did. Some days it feels like some weird dream I am living in. I wonder if you're torturing yourself by just holding it in like that. But having outlets like this to spill it out and hear what people have to say helps. I will say that. We had a big fight about our relationship, in which I was able to call her out on lots of her poor choices without giving up the fact that I know about everything. I told her she didn't love me and that I haven't been important to her for a long time. That was a week ago, and I have been using that big fight as a cover. So now, so now if I am angry or cold, she thinks it's because of that big fight we had. I was the only thing holding our relationship together. Now that I know about her infidelity, I have no reason to put any effort. As a result, our relationship has drastically fallen apart. I explained all this to her, and it seems she realized it was true. Since that fight, she seems to have chosen me over her affair partner. This is obviously not how it should be. She chose me when we got married, so there should not even be a choice to be made here. She has been putting more effort into showing me attention and communicating. Yeah, she doesn't want to lose she doesn't want to lose her support she wants to make things work but from my perspective way too little way too late there's nothing she can do to change the situation she put us in she made her bed now she has to lie in it this infidelity began because her position as 
the absolute center of my life was challenged. Her large amount of attention from me, from which she derives happiness, was challenged. So she sought the attention elsewhere. Rather than communicating with me, what I find truly hilarious is that the men she has chosen to have affairs with don't treat her as number one either. One guy regularly ignored her for weeks. The other guy has an ex-wife and a child that he even told her would always be his priority. He's even been seen around town with other girls. Remember that this guy is a youth pastor, so she is not even number two to this guy, even though they'll tell each other how special their relationship is. He even told her he plans on moving to co-parent his kid with his ex. How is she okay with that? but can't handle me focusing on school. So here's the update as of today. As a response to our big fight, she decided she will be staying with her parents for a few weeks to clear her head. This makes things way easier for me. I don't have to worry about her refusing to leave or attacking me or any other crazy things she may do. She already has plans to come back. Little does she know I have arranged for her to get divorce papers served the day after she gets to her parents' house. So I have a week to go, and it can't be over soon enough. As much as I want it to be over, it means this is also the last week I will ever see my dog. It really sucks. We are super attached. But I have no hope of keeping him. There are some special circumstances that I don't want to explain, but it's basically impossible for me to keep him. I'm going to miss him a lot. Yeah, you probably can't take care of him because of, because of the dog condition or something. Let's check out the other update. All right, looks like the final update. Update, blindsided her with papers. Uh-oh. Guys, I did it. She got blindsided and completely devastated by the news. She's surprised, like, wow. <laughs> okay, she's just upset because she lost her breadwinner. But, um, I discovered my wife's multiple affairs over a month ago, but I didn't confront her. Instead, I carefully and secretly planned out how to remove her from my life with as few problems from me as possible. I have been acting totally normal for the last month, being cheerful, buying her things, having conversations, etc. Here's my previous update. We read through that one. It has been a long month. I wanted to call her out so badly, it was on the tip of my tongue, but I never did because it wouldn't make things difficult for me. So I hit the gym, lawyered up, got papers drafted, collected over 450 pages of explicit messaging, set up a new debit account, ready to transfer funds, and convinced her to take some time at her parents' house. I even predicted the exact reaction her family would have. I froze her credit card with my name and transferred half of our money to the new debit account as soon as I heard the papers were delivered. She left yesterday with her mom. I just gave her a hug and said, take care of yourself. She said okay. This morning a process server arrived at her parents' home and delivered the papers. She had no idea I knew what she was doing. Her parents claimed they have no idea about anything. She got completely blindsided and was apparently hysterical. I say hysterical because, get this, I still haven't talked to her. Yep, her mom called me and I had to explain the situation to her. Just higher level details though. Even in a situation like this, her mom is trying to solve the problems for her. It's absolutely ridiculous. I can't even discuss my personal relationship with my wife privately. This is a 29-year-old woman who is letting her mom mediate and talk on her behalf. Although I did have a good relationship with my MIL mother-in-law, and she did push my wife to work on our marriage. I find this so beyond idiotic of them both. I handled everything with tact, kept my composure, and didn't let my emotions do the talking. I had to really bite my lip though. My mother-in-law, in discussing getting her wife's things, was using language that implied I was responsible for getting her stuff back to her. She suggested I pack the stuff, rent a car, and drive the four hours to deliver it. The stuff in question is mostly t-shirts and lotion bottles, so I told her it is not my responsibility. She comes back with, if you respect me so much like you say, you would do me a favor. Oh man, not only is she getting way too far into our business, but she is going to try to manipulate me. I just said, that has nothing to do with this. And I could say the same thing to you. Please don't attempt to manipulate me again. I'm already... 
I'm already giving you lots of respect here by keeping a lot of issues off the table. I can decide to bring it to court and prove infidelity, costing us both a lot of money. I can claim theft of our dog. I can give evidence to her affair partner's employer, which will get him fired from his youth pastor position and others. I'm trying to make this as affordable and simple as possible. Of course, she backed down and will be picking up the stuff. Now I have to wait for them to make a move. I'm guessing they are trying to hire a lawyer and, ref and refute the dog ownership, which is the biggest fighting point, yet oddly not brought up. Her mom is probably comforting her and telling her that her multiple illicit affairs are okay, dragging her husband through the mud, talking ish about him whatever chance she gets even while still coming home at night and expecting love and affection is all okay. Someone in another thread mentioned she might have borderline personality disorder based on stuff she said. I think she does. It is odd that they are so worried about such insignificant belongings right now. Yes, it is odd. My wife is not handling this with me. Yes. Should I refuse to deal with her mom? Maybe. Is my wife mentally unstable? Guess so. Do I let them come get her stuff? I don't really want to deal with that. I hate all of this. I am being straightforward and honest with them, and they are trying to pull some ish on me. I hate that I might have to resort to twisting their arm. I hate that I have always been a meal ticket for my wife and just a sucker paying her bills to her parents. I hate that I can't even discuss this with her, civilly and rationally, like an adult. I hate that her mom lied to me about not knowing her daughter had affairs. I hate that they are so confused by my actions. I hate that I instinctively think of her and want to ask her what kind she wants when I see ice cream at the store. But most of all, I hate how even now, I am the bad guy to them. Dang, man, that is so unfortunate. Well, guys, I will put the link to this. I will put the link to this in the description like usual. Let me know what you think about this one. This was a very interesting story. I don't know how he held on so long without saying anything, but it seems like in the end, like he's still feeling bad. He feels horrible. Like his plan didn't really go like he wanted. But um, let me know what you think about this in the comments, and I'll catch you guys at the next one.